Hello and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Barry and Abby and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Abby's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we use while we're working with the dogs, and also the training equipment that we're using. Barry is using a regular six foot training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. And the correction that we provide is a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You'll notice that Barry keeps that collar high up on her neck for the most control while working with her. And we will show you how to properly put that collar on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Now Abby is sitting very nicely on Barry's left hand side and that's where all of our obedience training takes place. The first command that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing and healing is proper walking on a leash. The command that you're going to give is Abby heal and you're going to simply start walking and you'll notice that Abby has been trained to walk very nicely on your left hand side at your pace, not lagging behind nor lunging ahead on that leash. We've also gone ahead and incorporated an automatic sit into the healing exercise. So anytime that you stop, she's been trained to sit nicely right there at your left heel position. And you will see those automatic sits throughout the video here. Good job. Now the next command they're going to demonstrate is the stay command. It is a hand and voice command. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm in front of her muzzle and the one word command to stay. Stay. And out to the end of your leash and Abby should remain seated throughout the entire command. And you're going to want to practice your sit stays frequently to help build up Abby's ability to sit and stay for longer periods of time. Start with short time increments of 30 seconds to a minute and upon her success increase your intervals working up to a total of 3 minutes for the long sit stay. When Barry turns back, he walks all the way around and behind as an added distraction, returning so that Abby is once again on his left hand side. Great job. And they're going to demonstrate the heel sit and stay for you again. Abby, heel. Come on, girl. It is important to use lots of positive reinforcement when working Abby through her commands to let her know that she's doing a good job and completing her commands appropriately. You can use verbal praise, which you hear Barry telling her, good job, doing a, she's being a good girl. And you can use physical praise and give her pets as well. Stay. There's that stay command again. The open flat of your left palm in front of her muzzle. Now he's going to give her a moment to hold it. And then they're going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command for you. And the command you're going to use is Abby, come. Abby, come. Go She's been trained to get up and come in and sit directly in front of you. Great job. And then we have an exercise called the finish. She goes around the right side of you, the back, returns to your left hand side sitting nicely. Good job, and they'll demonstrate that again. Stay. Yeah. Oh. Well, she got up from her sit with her shake, stay. so Barry just goes back to heel position and puts her in another sit stay. It's important to follow through. Abby, come. Much Good better. job. Anytime she breaks command or does not complete it, you just tell her no and you repeat the command. Abby, heel. Come on, girl. Yeah, come on. All right, now the next command they're going to demonstrate for you is the first of our down commands. It's the down from a heel position. Again, use the open flat of your left palm straight down to the ground and the one word command to down. Down. Give the stay, stay command and out to your end of your leash again. And of course, with the down stay, she should remain laying down throughout the entire command. And you're going to want to practice your down stays frequently as well to help put up that ability to down stay. And you're going to start with your short time increments once again. And with her success, increase those up to a total of five minutes for your long down stay. Barry's going to go ahead and return back, same way, all the way around behind. Turning so she's on his left hand side once again. She'll get some praise. Abby, heel. Good job. And I'll demonstrate that for you again. Abby, heel. Down. 
stay. So he'll give her a moment to hold it and then this time I'll demonstrate that recall command for you again from the down position this time. Abby, come. Good girl. Fabulous job. Now when Abby comes home you want to make sure that you're setting aside about 10 to 15 minutes every day to work her through her formal obedience commands. You can even throw this video on and follow along. It's great practice for the both of you. Now we're ready to demonstrate the last of our commands, the second of the down commands, down from a distance. For this command you're going to leave Abby in a sit stay. Stay. Up to the end of the leash and from the end of the leash you're going to use your right hand this time to give Abby the down command. Down. And she should drop Set. in it down exactly where she's sitting. Very well demonstrated. Great job. <laughs> And back around. So we've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Miss Abby has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Abby. We've enjoyed having her. We ask that you keep us posted on her progress when she returns home. And we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer. Good job.